favorite son, George. Um, I want to teach you something tonight. A lot of people use the iPad to read, um, and you can read either books or what they call PDF reports. I actually read a lot of reports. Um, I'll download from different websites like reports about health issues or uh, just even some short books, but they're in report form. Anyway, you can read a book or a report on the iPad and it's really kind of neat. So the first thing we need to do is find the app on your home screen that says iBooks. For me, it's in the, the third row, second column, you know, right, right here. But look for that um, app or that icon on your on the, on your iPad home screen, and then just tap on it. Now, when you tap on it, it opens up a bookshelf. It's like having your own bookshelf, your own library. But I want you to notice how at the top of the page it says books. Well, this is where we would put our books. But we're not going to do books. We're going to use um, right now. We want we're interested in reading PDFs and yours may say PDFs right now I don't know but regardless if I come over here to the upper left hand side where it says collections it'll I, I, I tap on that with my finger and I have put book collections purchase book collections and PDFs you see how it's checked by books that's why books is shown here but we're interested in PDFs, so I'm going to just tap on where it says PDFs and that takes me to my PDF collection notice how it changed up top here to PDFs now I already have a few in here but um, just ignore them for right now because I want to teach you actually I'm going to send you one that I think you'll find pretty interesting I'm going to send you a PDF report that I want you to be able to open in your iBooks um, app so go uh, click the home button you know over here and go to your home screen um, well you don't have to do that actually I'm doing that uh, so ignore this part but this kind of looks like the website you're on right now the videos at the top that you're watching and right about now this should actually be popping up on your page now right here this Staten Island attractions that's actually a PDF report that I want you to be able to uh, read so tap on that with your finger and as you do you'll see at the top of the page it's it's starting to download that well I've already done that I'm gonna take a little shortcut and I've already downloaded and this is what it's gonna look like once it's fully downloaded now this is a uh, 76 page report it's really kinda of neat all about Staten Island that you could scroll through with your finger but we don't want to do that what we'd rather do is read it and have it saved on our iPad in that iBooks app so if you just tap with one finger on the page I want you to see what happens at the top when you tap in the upper right it says open in iBooks it only lasts for a few seconds open in iBooks upper right now this time when I tap it I'm gonna actually click on it and it's gonna allow this to open in iBooks now that was kinda of quick this is probably what you will see you will see just this PDF on your bookshelf now to read it you tap on it and then it opens up to go back to your library the bookshelf you go to the upper left hand corner just like that to read it you open it now I'm not going to do this right now but you would actually turn your iPad to the uh, vertical of what we call portrait position because it's a lot easier to read um, but I'm gonna leave it right here for just for right now now if I tap on it um, the top and bottom go away that headline at the top and bottom see there it is I tap on it goes away and I just slide my finger across I'm gonna slide from right to left as if I was turning a page and again it looks much prettier in the vertical position and you can read this when you're done you just tap anywhere on the page go to the upper left hand corner hit library and there you are at your library and when you're really done go to the home screen here and I'm not going to do that yet but I want to show you one other kind of neat thing if you found a report that you really liked like this one if you wanted to send it to someone let's tap it again when it's in this open mode like this in the upper left hand corner there's that send arrow we've talked about so I tap that 
and then email and I can actually email that to somebody I would just simply put you know their name their email address in there and hit send over in the right hand corner and that would send it to them anyway I thought you might find that real interesting it's kind of neat and you know who's your favorite and I love you bye